Hey everybody, it's your crazy fangirl Shimi. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be watching the new trailer and the first ever trailer for Fast and Furious 9. So before we start off, I should probably start off and talk about kind of like my thoughts on Final Final Fantasy. I just watched the Final Fantasy trailer, so that's why it's in my head. Fast and Furious series. I think my love for the series kind of ended at 7. I will say that because 7 was a good way to end the series, I felt, because obviously we had gone through everything with, like, you know, the two brothers and stuff, and then we got number seven, and I thought that was a good way to end the series. Like, we didn't need any more, and then suddenly number eight was announced that it was coming out, and I was like, do we really necessarily need it? I don't think so. Um, but I did watch it when it came out, and it was okay. Like, I did kind of, like, find it interesting that they kind of, like, um went into the fact that, you know, Elena had, I'm pretty sure that's her name, Elena, um, had the kid, and she, um, obviously kept it a secret from Dom, and just, like, that sacrifice from a mum, like, not to tell, um, Dom, which was very interesting, but, um, I'm excited to see, kind of, what happens in this one, um, I kind of think the series should have ended a little bit ago because, like, now it just feels like it's spectacle over story, in a way, and I get that's what they want to do, but, from what it used to be, it's changed a lot, and I think maybe it's time to kind of, like, cease on it, but obviously it's going to keep making movies because it's making so much money, and I know that there's a lot of people saying, like, you know, it obviously started off with cars and stuff, and now it's all about the big explosions and stuff, it's no longer about it, and I kind of agree on that point, too. Um, that aspect is kind of gone now, and I'm kind of sad because that was, like, what I loved, like, the car racing, and that kind of element was still there in, like, you know, six, seven, eight. Oh no, not six, not eight, like five, six, seven. So that's why I really liked it. Um, but anyway, let's just jump straight into watching this trailer because I am kind of excited and I just want to see what it's about. And yeah, let's give it a go and maybe my expectations might change. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more movie trailers, video games and TV shows. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. I used to live my life a quarter mile at a time. Oh but god, why changed. would you play that song? Ah, at the time to stop. I will always be in your heart. Little Brian, I have a gift for you. Your daddy gave me this. No, I'm gonna give it to you. It's very special. It's for protection. From what's coming. What? Alright, Dom. What's next? Oh yeah, Charlie Theron. She's the villain. Oh. I am not too big compared to you. No one outruns their past. I am more easy, you trying your best to become me. And mine. Just caught up to me. Been a long time, Dom. I knew John Cena was gonna be it, so, so that's gonna be interesting. A master thief, assassin, high performance driver. Who is he? Jacob is Dom's brother. What? In life, you pushed yourself to be faster than Dom. <laughs> Smarter than Dawn. Stronger than Dawn. But could you kill him? Because I'm ready if you are. They are How? more powerful than the Lover family. But you turn that into anger. There's nothing more dangerous. Maybe this is the end, but we won't go out together. That move you know, was sick. To I'm not gonna lie. Wait. Let's get to work. I'll Please talk about it after. That's not a Pontiac Fiero strapped to a rocket engine. Impressive, I know. No, no, that's that's not. Oh wait, impressive. that character was from Tokyo Drift, wasn't he? My ass is in fuego! Oh, these fight scenes are cool. I'll say that, but oh. Take 
take you down, little brother. That's your mistake. Ooh. This is my world. I'm getting... The jungle scenes are giving me some Uncharted vibes, I'm not gonna lie. And I love Uncharted. Okay, that... yeah. What? No. What? They got a no! Plane. Hold on. Tell me you're not thinking what I think you're thinking. There's no bridge! Oh, hell no. Okay, a bit extreme. Just gonna say that. Okay. Hey, guys. Surprise. Nice clubhouse. What? Okay. Oh, my Lord. Um. Jeez Louise, uh, yeah. How is my question? Because, okay, some, yeah, okay. Oh, God. Um, give me two seconds. Okay, um, I just had to go back and watch that trailer again, and I had to write down some notes because I have a lot to say. Um, okay, let's start off with the fact that Mia's back. Now, this was kind of established kind of like in the last movie and obviously in Seven that obviously Paul Walker's character, unfortunately, rest his soul, um, won't come back because obviously that amazing actor passed away. Um, I loved him so much. He was amazing. Um, but I don't know why. I guess like because of the fact that Dumb has his brother in this, but also because of the fact like I'm kind of just confused why. The, ugh, but I'll, I'll talk about the brother aspect. But just Mia, like... Without Brian, why is she there? Like, I get the fact that, you know, obviously that's her, maybe it's her older, like, middle child, like, John Cena, who he's playing, um, like, the middle child, so I'm guessing, but then, yeah, I'm going to talk about the brother in a second, because I'm just like, why? Um, but yeah, just Mia, I thought that, like, they'll keep her out of the story now that she's with Brian. Now I'm just gonna move on and talk about the brother, because why? Is he in this even- like, why is he even in this story? Because of the fact that, you know, he was never mentioned in any part of the series before. And suddenly, they just happen to have a middle, like, brother. Like, a brother who's in the family who they never spoke about. While the concept that they've had for, like, the past, like, four or five movies before eight was family. I mean, eight is also family, like, apparently, but why? I don't understand that part. Um, that just doesn't make sense because of the fact that, you know, it kind of goes against everything that they've built up towards this point with a new, like, brother involved because, you know, they've always said there's two Toretto kids and then it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Like, I know that they're obviously trying to keep this series going because, I mean, it's making them a lot of money, but it's also a good, like, some of it is good, and obviously the spectacle is great, like, I will say that, but I'll talk about some of the spectacle in a second. Um, but, like, when it gets too far, it's too far. I guess, like, with this brother thing, I think it's a little bit stupid because of the fact that they've never spoken about him. Like, they better have a good reason for not bringing him up. Like, maybe... The parents had, like, a secret kid. I don't know. And then they never spoke about it. Maybe gave him up for adoption. I don't know. Some crap like that. But, I don't know. They have to have a really good reason to m bring this brother in now. And even just create this character. Um, because of the fact that, like, it just... I just don't understand why. They could have done... I guess they could have done something else. But at the same time, it's like... It's just why. Anyway, I'm going to move on. My main <laughs> thing about this whole thing is why is Han back? I don't understand why he's back. Like, look, I love Han. Han is one of my favorite characters and I loved him like throughout the original, you know, like the 
Oh, shush phone. What I was gonna say was that they don't need to bring him back. You know, they kind of fulfilled his storyline because, you know, he was with Giselle. Oh, their relationship was goals. Um, they were together, they obviously traveled the world together and were like this beautiful couple. And then, you know, obviously unfortunately she died because she gave her sacrifice herself to help the cause for what happened in number six, I think it was. Um, and then obviously Han went to Japan. He lived his life. He made his own garage because, you know, he was always talking about doing that too. Kind of like um, Ludacris' character. I can't remember his name either. I've forgotten all the character names. I need to go back and look. But, you know, he opened the garage. He was helping other kids in Japan, you know, like driving and drifting. And then that other character in Tokyo Drift was there too. So that was a really good movie. That's one of my favorite movies. Um, but he died. And that was essentially like a core factor of... Um, Number seven, like, you know, like they went back to Japan, they got all this stuff and, you know, Han was dead and then they had the funeral. I don't understand why they're bringing him back when they've obviously stated that he's dead for so long. And this is the thing, like, I get that they're obviously trying to make it hype, like, you know, oh my god, the original crew is back together, blah, blah, blah. But then it's like, it gets to a point where it's like, you're, you're just bringing people back so it causes hype, so people will go and see the movie as to why he's back. And that's just kind of, it's a little bit like, it's like, it's, yeah. It's a little bit, it's a little, it's a low blow, in my opinion, in terms of writing, because, like, they could do a lot of different stories in terms of with the Fast and Furious series, and with the last two, like, with eight, okay, I'll talk about eight quickly, because this movie, I had mixed opinions about it, because I was kind of like, mmm. Like, you know, like, Dom was kind of, like, the villain. I kind of thought that would be a cool idea, but then there had to be a good reason. And there was a good reason, you know, there was the kid. Um, and that was interesting to see how far he would go for his kid. And, yeah, the kid was cute. Um, but I think something in terms... I, I mean, in terms of this one, I feel like they may be going a bit low... Below the belt, you know? Because, like, you know, they're bringing in a brother who we've never heard of and who we've never seen of throughout the entire series and then suddenly Han is back when it has evidently been said that he's been dead this whole time and we've watched him die like in that car like and it's in like they made it impossible and this is the thing I spoke about this with Kingdom Hearts and this is what kind of annoys me with a lot of story writing you know they obviously kill a character off, you know, some of their arcs are fulfilled, kind of like Hans. Hans was pretty much fulfilled. He was just being a mentor for that one character in Tokyo Drift, and he was amazing. Um, but, you know, his, his kind of, like, character arc, like, finished and was left alone. It was like, cool, leave it at that, do not bring him back. But then they're bringing him back, and I don't understand what that's going to fulfill in his storyline, because, you know, the revenge that Han would want would be on the guy who nearly killed him, which is, um, Jason Statham's character. I can't remember his name. What's Damn it! I literally can't remember. It's, like, wiped from my brain. I need to go and re redo, like, research on all this. But, um, I just feel like that's just gonna ruin his character arc. Unless it's for a very good reason. But at this time, at this time, I feel like it's not. Like, it's not a good reason to bring him back if it's, like, you just you're wanting audiences to go and see, like, these old characters back in the movies. So I'm not really too happy with kind of what I've seen so far. The fighting scenes is something I like, because, you know, the choreographed fights, that's something I love. And just with cinematography, with fight scenes, I'm like, that's what I love. But, again, this, like, the fights in this, I'm excited to see. And, again, I said it before, like, I was getting Uncharted vibes, and you guys know how much I love Uncharted. So that was kind of exciting. I was like, hmm feeling it but at the same time I'm like mm, we'll we'll see if there's another trailer coming out soon I will watch the trailer and then I will make a decision whether to go or not to see the movie so again thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it please give it a like subscribe comment and tell me your thoughts on this trailer because I know that fine not I'm going back to Final Fantasy again. Fast and Furious has been controversial in terms of storylines and also it's like stunts especially in the last few years and the last few movies. So please let me know what you guys think. I would love to have a conversation with you guys about like this movie and what it might become. Um, so yeah, again, please, the comments are open. Remember to be respectful for one another, but remember, it's all about just conversation and I want to talk to you guys about this film. I'm, I really love conversing with you guys, so please leave your comments below and I'll check them out and I will have a chat with you about it because 
have a lot of things to say about this film. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!